Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone is doing well. If you haven't yet subscribed, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Planning on doing a lot more reviews and comparison videos. But in today, it's a pretty exciting video. I'm doing a full in-depth review on my brand new BBR models Ferrari F50. Now, I suppose a little bit of backstory before we start with the review. I put a deposit on this model Gosh, probably around to end of 2019, beginning of 2020, just before COVID, just before the pandemic. And the model has just arrived this week. So I'm very excited to have it in the collection. I'm very excited to be sharing it on the channel with everybody. I believe this is an exclusive. Um, it is a, um, a brand new model, number two out of 99. I haven't seen another one on YouTube um, yet. So um, I'm very excited to share it on the channel and I'm very happy that it is in, that it's in the collection now. Um, so it is a really, really exciting video for me, given that it's taken around two years for the, um, for the model to come. But um, let's take a look at some of the, um, the BBR packaging and then we'll start off with the full review on the brand new Ferrari F50. So this is the new BBR packaging now. Um, I believe all BBR models, um, like for the Ferrari models, they do come in the red outer box. Um, so you've got the new Ferrari logo on the top, which is not on my other one. So that's quite a nice touch by BBR. And then you've got the scale down below, scale 118. You've got all of the um, luxury, um, luxury models from Italy with the BBR logos there as well. And then you've got the um, the sticker on the side here as well um, to, to tell you what model um, is in the box. So we've got the F50 Coupe all in black, um, 118 scale, along with the other BBR emblems. Um, again, it's a really nice box. Um, you know, it's a nice design. I like all the little Ferrari touches on it as well. Um, so I think oh, the overall outer packaging of the um, of the box is um, is really kind of good quality from BBR. So as soon as you take the outer box off, you have the, um, it's, it's, it's almost a certificate of authenticity. Now you don't get these with all BBR models. Um, I've only had them on a few of them now, uh, but it's a really nice touch. It's a little booklet about the model. Um, you know, it tells you about how, um, how limited the model is. And it tells you a little bit more about the um, about BBR as a as a company, and a little bit more details about the um, about the model as well. So um, again, really nice touches. I like these touches by BBR, and I like all of the extra bits that you get. And um, so it's always nice to have, um, and really nice touch. And then it has the um, the cloth around the model. Quite a nice um, box as well where it comes down. And then you got the cloth, which has also got the BBR logo embossed in it as well which unveils the um the model now you can order these without the plexiglass display case um i would always recommend that you buy um a resin model with the case it just protects it from you know from dust and everything else that um that's out there when you're displaying your model um it's an extra 20 25 euros i think but definitely worth the money um, and I would always kind of recommend um, adding that on if you're looking to at, um, get a, a BBR or an MR collection models. But let's take the model out of the box and we'll do a full in-depth review on it. So we had a look at some of the outer packaging by BBR, some nice little touches there. Um, I'll leave a link to the unboxing video below of this model car that I released a couple of days ago. But I have removed it from the plexiglass display case. Um, it's just sellotaped on, so just unpeel the sellotape back and then you can lift it up and then I'll put it back on once the review is done. But yeah, this is the full review of the F50. Um, I went for the all black version. Um, I've got a couple of red um, red Ferraris, yellow Ferraris in the collection. So I wanted to try a, um, a new color out and I think the F50 in black just looks absolutely amazing. I've also got a black Enzo by BBR diecast as well. So it's quite cool to, um, to both match them up in the same uh, color specification. But I think the overall kind of presence of the model is, is amazing from BBR. They've really done a very good job with this model car. Um, the base is really nice as well. So it's a typical BBR base, nice leather base. You've got the 
Ferrari emblem on, on this side. You've got the F50 running across the car. You've got BBR embossed in the um in the um in the leather base as well. And then right at the rear, you've got I'll come down for this one. You've got limited edition number two out of 99 pieces. Now that's another reason I decided to go for black. Um, they only made 99 examples um, like the one you see here. With the red one, I believe they made 700 examples. The yellow one was around 140. Um, so the black one, I believe, is the rarest one um, that, they've, that they've made. Now you can opt for the spider one. Or the or, or the one with the um, with the roof on, I, I I put my deposit down on the first one that I saw in black, which was the one with the roof. So I was quite happy to keep it. But there there is an option coming that um, you can have it um, as a convertible as well. So just just bear that in mind. And they are still available on the BBR website. So if you're looking for an F50 in red, yellow. Um, I believe the black convertible is yet to be released and they've got one in grey as well, I think. Um, they are still available and you can still get them. This one, though, as you see here, completely sold out um, and um, they're, they're just releasing them now. So I think if you're looking for one of these, your best bet is probably now on uh, on eBay or a secondhand website. But um, let's start off with the um, with the full review. Let's start off at the front end of the model. Now, and the F50 I've had my eye on for a long, long time now. It's always a model that I wanted to have in the collection. I was just waiting for the right one to come about. I had my eye on the Amalgam one as well, um, but I did, the prices are there are just too much. And I, I, I went for the um, the BBR version, which is an amazing model. So I'm very happy I went for this one. And I love the color specification as well. So let's take a look at the front end of the model. Now again, the F50 is a little bit of a of a Marmite car, I think. Um, you get some collectors who really love it, other collectors who are a little bit on the fence about it. Um, it sits in between the F40 and the Enzo. Um, it has a F1 derived engine in it as well, an amazing V12 engine. But um, I think it's kind of um I I think it's definitely a Ferrari hypercar, and it's one that you need in the collection, um, especially if you're a Ferrari collector. Um, but I think it is a definite car that will definitely appreciate a lot more in the future as well, especially as a model as well. So, um, and, and BBR always do a great job with these model cars. So let's start with the front end of the model. Um, as you can tell, it's a complete resin model car, so nothing opens up. Um, but the whole exterior of the model is truly flawless and amazing. So we've got the... Um, iconic kind of front end of the f50 you've got the tail lights here as well you can see the different beams through the clear plexiglass plastic casing that the lights sit in so it's a nice touch by bbr you've got nice lines coming down as well um to the ferrari badge that sit in the middle and then you've got the um the fans in between here as well which have got the grills in as well so you've got all the little touches there by bbr You've got the Ferrari badge that are, that's in the um, the front grille. Then obviously you've got the um, the black mesh that sits in the grille as well, and all of these little grills around the edge as well. But it's quite a um, sims, you know, it's a very minimalistic design on the F50. You haven't got big splitters or louvres or kind of air canals that kind of make the car more aerodynamic. It's kind of in that 90s era, um, but again, very nice front end all the little touches by um by bbr and you can just about see if i kind of bring my camera and let it focus a little bit even though it's a resin model you can see the fans through that um that mesh down there as well so you can see that they haven't really left anything unturned with the with all the little details as well so it's always a very very nice finish by um by bbr when they're looking kind of inside the model car as well even though it's a complete sealed body uh, model so let's take a look around the side of the model obviously you've also got the indicators here as well which is done very nicely um really nice kind of um, plastic casing around that as well coming around the side of the model we'll touch on the interior as well um shortly look at the presence of this model i think it's just looks it looks absolutely amazing i love the styling i love that massive rear rear wing uh, it just looks 
it just looks every bit of a Ferrari supercar. Um, and it's got such a good presence as well. The way it sits on the um, on the leather case, it does look it looks really really nice. Um, the wheel design again, typical F50 style wheels. Um, you can see the discs and the calipers just behind the wheels as well. Um, BBR have also put the tire valve on the wheels, which again is a very nice touch. You don't see that very often nowadays with them. Um, with model car manufacturers so it's really glad they've got that in there you've got the ferrari badge on the center caps as well and then you've got the ferrari logo running down on the black discs as well um sorry on the black calipers and then you've got a huge disc that covers the whole wheel so the overall wheels and the um dinner the, the discs and calipers are done very very nicely you've got the ferrari badge on the side as well which is really good. It, it, it's um, a 3D badge, so it's got a little bit of depth to it as well. So it's not just a sticker, um, but again, it's a really nice touch. Um, and then you've got the um, kind of the whole side end of the model, which is done really nicely. You've got all of the different lines on the F50 as well. So you've got the center line that comes kind of runs through the model car. And then if I kind of just turn that down a little bit here, you've got the black mesh in the grills for the engine bay here as well. Then you've got a nice badge right on the side there as well. So I think the overall kind of side presence of the model is truly fantastic. Um, for the doors, now again, everything's very neat and tidy. Um, you've got the door handles there as well with the key slot. So it's a nice touch. You've got the fuel cap on the driver's side. And I'll touch on the interior after I've done the exterior, but it's very, very nicely done by, um, by BBR. And then on the um, on the rear wheels as well, again, exactly the same as the front. I believe they're slightly um, a bit bigger, but they're indented, so they're not as um, exactly like the front. Again, you've also got the um, the tyre valve here as well. Huge discs, and you've got the calipers there as well with the Ferrari emblem right in the middle as well. So the wheel design on the model is, is, is really, really nice. Um, and I just think the... Um, it just suits the um, the model really nicely with these wheels. So coming around the rear end of the model, now again, this is probably one of my favorite angles of the F50. Um, it just looks absolutely amazing, especially with that huge wing. Um, but yeah, you've got the huge wing coming over. You've got the Ferrari badge that sits just underneath the wing here. And then you've got the emblem there as well. You've got the... Um, the black mesh that sits all the way across the model to the left it can entirely open um i suppose exactly exactly like the real car to help with um with cooling you've got the quad exhaust pipes as well which is a really nice touch and you've got a bit of a rear diffuser down here as well so um i think the whole rear is really nicely done um they've obviously left that all down there as well and you can clearly see when once they've left that all out lots of engine detail which i love now, again, this is a sealed model, but it doesn't mean that they've, they've neglected the engine um, details. Even though you cannot open the engine bay up, you can just about see all of the engine compartments and engine detail through the engine cover. Um, so it's a really, you know, really highly detailed engine bay. And it's got some significant depth in there as well. So it's really kind of like a bit of a work of art there by BBR. Um, I think it does look really nice. And if I come round the side as well, so you can kind of see it from a different angle. So you can kind of see all of the other engine compartments there as well. Really nicely done by BBR with the slanted um, engine cover as well. So really nice touch by um, by BBR doing the engine. And now again, coming round the, um, the passenger side now. Again, exactly the same. Looks incredible with the same designs. Uh, I think the exterior of the model is truly fantastic. Um, the colour is, it, it just works, I think. Solid black with black interior. And I'll touch on some of the other touches um, in the interior as well. But the black just looks absolutely incredible. Um, I think it's just a really nice, solid, not a metallic black, um, but I think it just, just suits the F50. Now for the interior, um, I'll try and show you guys as best as I can with my lights, um, like that. So if I bring my camera in, so you can see, you can 
obviously you can tell that the F50 has a manual transmission um, so that you can clearly see the manual um, gear stick in there as well, the gated gear shifter. You've got the Ferrari badge on the steering wheel. Um, now you haven't got a lot of kind of luxuries in an F50. Um, it is a kind of stripped out, lightweight, thoroughbred race car really for the road. Um, so you haven't got a lot of different finishes in there, but BBR have done a great job with the with the um, interior, and it is very realistic. You've got all of the red touches as well, so you've got the red seat belts, um, red stitching around the seats, which really pops against all of the dark um, dark paintwork and dark interior. So you can just about see the red seat belts there as well, which is a really nice touch. Um, but again, it, just the interior on this model car is truly amazing. Um, I think it definitely is worth kind of the money that BBR charge for their resin model cars as well. Really highly detailed um, interior in there. Um, again, I mean, maybe you could probably see a little bit more with the convertible version, but you can see a lot of detail in here through the um, through the windows as well. But um, I think overall the model is truly fantastic. I'm very glad that it's finally arrived and I can finally share it on the channel with you guys. Please let me know in the comments below, you know, is, is it worth the money? What do you think? Um, should I go on with a different color specification? Always keen to share um, or to hear your, your thoughts on the model and the video. Um, so um, yeah, please like and subscribe and share. And I'll see you guys very soon for lots more videos to come. Take care. Bye.